Make sure you check out Strip Down this week. We've got a brand new episode. I'm going to be there. Co-host Edan Lemus is going to be there. And the band, they're a little bit plugged in this week. They'll bring the party. All you got to do is show up, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jiminy. Make sure you check out Strip Down this week. We've got a brand new episode. I'm going to be there. Co-host Edan Lemus is going to be there. And the band, they're a little bit plugged in this week. They'll bring the party. All you got to do is show up, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jiminy. Yeah, I mixed it. It went live. That was really sweet of you to pass that back to me. Not a mouth of that. Tonight on Strip Down, Jay Sempko, Josh Palmer, Teresa Sokerka. You, me, Robert Palmer. Are we still on the air? <laughs> Watching Stripped Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase, the show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room, and the multiple award-winning and most celebrated show on cable television. I'm your host, Curtis Anderson, and tonight we are breaking all the Stripped Down rules. Acoustic? Oh no. Electric? Yes. Turntables? Heck yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on Stripped Down, it's Jiminy. The 
fresh flavors in my behavior will be silent Look at the more the day I still coordinate a smile at Feel optimistic in this pessimistic world Still chill with my boys unless I'm with this girl I waited for her to phone me Just in case she felt aroused and lonely and Wanted to f***ing only get my cell phone out my pocket separate What make me hesitate? I missed a call to fall into a second date A second late but it left an hour early It's time I'm freshen up and I'ma keep my hair curly On this date I'll give her my best effort I'ma skip the deja vu and make it to the end work I'm gesture by the gestures that she's sending me Chad, tell me about that chemistry There's something I'd like to see to you Go telling everyone I would rather stay here and lay with you Than go to the show Tonight we might rewrite how my nightlife stands Suggesting we move along We could be too sick for the hospitals If we even last that long And it was alright, stayed up all night And not once did our conversation die I was living in the living room and dying in the dining room Trying to find a bedroom that night And it was alright, stayed up all night And not once did our conversation die I was living in the living room and dying in the dining room Trying to find a bedroom to make it alright It was alright, stayed up all night And not once did our conversation die I was living in the living room and dying in the dining room Trying to find a bedroom that night Alright, stayed up all night And not once did our conversation die Oh, I sit up all night. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, my friend, you're not leaving here. We have something to settle yet. Yeah. Shaw TV studios tonight. I'm Curtis Anderson. You're watching Strip Down. Where do I stand? I don't think it's ever been this packed in here before. <laughs> this is probably the most ambitious Strip Down we've ever done. I defy anybody out there to let me know the last time there were turntables in the Shaw studio. It's never happened. It's never <laughs> happened. Right Jiminy, welcome to Strip Down. How you doing? Thanks, Thanks buddy. Let's take another That's shot at that. Jiminy, <laughs> welcome to Strip Down. Yeah. Cheers. A little more ambitious than we usually do. We have everything packed in here. Thank you so much. Setup was a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue. It took a while. Thank you so much for being here tonight. No excited to be on Strip Down. So excited. All when right. we started a band, this was what we were, we were shooting for: Cable Ten. That's why we formed the band. <laughs> yeah. All right, just like that, we're off to a good start. As if it's not crowded enough in here, I want to bring in a very special young man, Dan Lemus. Get in here. Here is our co-host for tonight, hey! everybody. Dan. <laughs> Where should I stand? I don't know. I don't want to block anybody. Sorry, though. drummer. It's okay. Now, Dan is one of our hardcore <laughs> volunteers. Dan's been here since the beginning, one of the last volunteers to co-host an episode. Yes. Why Jiminy? Jiminy, Because they, they rock straight up. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I asked this fella. He used to work at the same mall that I was, and I was like, hey, man, I'd like your band to come play on my TV show because hey, you guys are awesome, and I've seen you a couple of times. So Big night. You excited to dad? Yeah. Are we going to do I'm this? Pumped. Awesome. Oh, great. High fives. Right. Hey, who wants to jump in here? What do we need to know about Jiminy in 2009? Enver. Uh, grilled cheese. Grilled cheese? Yeah. Okay. Anyone we're, else? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, we're starting a grilled cheese sandwich factory. Yeah? It's going to be great. Yeah, it's actually called the Grilled Cheese Hut. And uh, you can get any kind of a grilled cheese sandwich you choose. Uh, any kind of toppings, any kind of peppers, chicken, ham, uh, cold cut, anything. Anything you need. We're, uh, we're, we're playing shows so we can get our restaurant going. I think we're out of time. Drummer, you have your own mic. <laughs> Tell us about Jiminy in 2009. I'll get out of your way. I feel it's emotional for me because I, I feel like I've made it to the top because I have my own mic. It's, it's through my shirt. It's like, you know, it's hooked up to me. I feel like this is it's scary. It's a little emotional, but I love it because, you know, I'm, I'm right there. And, like, I was right here before, so it feels good. I'm flying without a clipboard tonight. Tonight's the night. No uh, yeah, pre-written questions. Good. I'm going. Yeah. I'm going. There's going to be lots of music tonight. What do we need to know about Jiminy 2009? Someone give me a real answer. <laughs> Third try the question. Third try. No, we're, uh... Tell me about Jiminy. 
This next term, we're all pretty busy with school. So uh, we're doing a couple shows. We're playing 23rd at Louis, and then I think we're going to do a show at the Barking Fish Lounge downtown in February. And then uh, springtime, April, May, we're going to shoot out Western Canada again and do a tour. We did one last summer. It was super fun. So now, we're going to visit those folks again. Sorry. Adan knows, as the viewers know after the first song, you guys aren't that deep. You want people to dance and have a good time. That's yeah. pretty much the uh, yeah. Jiminy... Yeah, broken we, down to its barest form. We want we don't want too much crying. We put a couple like couple deep songs in there, but mostly it's just a I and mean, we're all friends, we come together and we have fun and the songs that gets us smiling the most at the end, those are the ones that we bring out to on stage so or are we to see TV. Some, hear some crying songs tonight? Yeah, we're gonna bring out, out yeah? a couple softies. Whoa, yeah. yeah. You're gonna be all right? I'll I'll try. Okay. I brought hey. the Kleenex. Good stuff. Okay, you know what? Tonight is gonna be all about the music. A lot of music. Like I said, setup was pretty intensive. I sat in the yeah. corner and rocked. I was already crying today because watching you guys do this was like splitting atoms to me. Usually I mic like the vocal <laughs> and then the one guitar and I'm like, all right, we're ready to do the show. So I am just going to get out of here. I'm going to take it down with me, let you guys do your stuff. Song number two, what do you have? Beauty. Uh, we're going to play a song off the CD called uh, Relax Me Some. Relax Me Some. Yeah. Here it is, Jiminy, Relax Me Some. Let's go, Dan. I was messing on 
the flow And for the past four months I've been dreaming about that ocean floor From Newport back to Huntington to Long Beach I've been longing for the long walk amongst the palm trees But you put me back to Saskatoon And now it's easy to relax in the afternoon Watching Strip Down. One, two, three, four. Six members of Jiminy in the Shaw TV studios tonight. I think we have a record. Adam Lemus, what do you hope we hear tonight? Do you have a favorite song? Well, we Curtis Anderson. <laughs> My eyes are tearing up a bit, but I think it's because I have an eyelash. But uh, <laughs> I'm hoping to hear Gin and Ginger Ale, definitely. Is that, oh. is that on the list? Gonna want to hear that, guys. Oh, scratch that song. Oh, oh my yeah. heart. Oh, sorry, but, oh, but it's, heart. Number, it's number two on the Jiminy Oh, CD. weird. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's up next, up. actually. All right, yeah. we actually have to take our first commercial break. I'm having so much fun tonight. This is rocking out. I'm dancing. It's not, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a little more rocking than we usually do. And I knew it was going to be good. And I knew it was coming. But you're going to want to stick around because after we get back, we are going to play Three Degrees of Josh Palmer. And I promise you, I promise the viewers <laughs> of Strip Down, this is going to be the best, the best Three Degrees of Josh Palmer ever. That's coming up right after the first commercial break. Stick around. <laughs> nice. Don't go anywhere. More stripped down after the break. Making it easier for you to choose fresh Canadian pork. We're proud of it. You should be too. Too much? Yeah, a little. Fresh Canadian pork. Look for the sticker. Do you know where stuff goes once it's flushed down the toilet? It travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant. There it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers. The problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup, cleaning supplies, and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up. They are dumped untreated into our waterways, which other people depend on for their drinking water. Some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways, while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? For more information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca. For many of us, the haunting call of the common loon on a still lake captures the essence of the Canadian wilderness. Most loons mate for life, returning to the same lake year after year. But development, pollution, and human recreation are chasing the loons from their natural habitat, threatening their future. To learn more about the loon and discover how you can help protect Canada's wildlife, visit hww.ca. You are watching Stripped Down Jiminy in the Shaw TV studios tonight. Oh yeah, Jiminy, we've plugged stuff in. We are electric tonight. 
Jiminy rocking stripped down. How are you guys feeling so far? Feeling it? We're loosening up. We're feeling good. We're feeling it. Good, good. Yeah. Now is the time of each episode we talk about the near and dear friend of ours, the near and dear friend of stripped down, Mr. Josh Palmer. You know who Josh yes. Palmer is? We have heard of Josh Palmer. Only by a legend, though. It's true. Yeah. He's yeah. like Saskatoon's own Chuck Norris. At least. At least. At okay. Least. Yeah, I've heard that uh, J Palm visited the, the Virgin Islands and afterwards they were renamed the Islands. <laughs> Awesome. That's what I've heard about that is a great segue. Okay, Josh Palmer again, as I tell the story every week, was supposed to be in the very first episode of Strip Down. It kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. Dude was in the hospital, blah, 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 blah. Every week we still talked about Josh Palmer. So we made a game called The Three Degrees of Josh Palmer. There's the graphic. Now how we play is we want to know how many degrees of separation you've worked with Mr. Palmer. You know, the guy does audio, the guy mixes bands professionally. He's got... It's Josh. What is going on to Josh Palmer? Adan, Adan, what is going on? Adan! Well, uh... Well, Curtis, I'm on, uh, I'm on location here with uh, Josh Palmer, the man himself, and uh, let's see what he has to say, Josh Palmer. How you doing, Mr. Anderson? Happy New Year. Whoa. I'm on location with your co-host here, rocking out. I believe you have my boys uh, Jiminy in the studio right now. Is, is that correct? We're busting down the fourth wall here on television. Yes, Jiminy is in the studio. What's the relationship between the mighty JP and Jiminy? Well, you know, it's a, it's a loving relationship there. I think, uh, I think Mark Ejack could probably sum, sum it up best. Mark Ejack could sum it up. The drummer. The drummer. Who has a microphone? That works out great. I do have a microphone. Um, our relationship is, is wonderful. It's a beautiful relationship. We recorded our album, Bright Ideas, in J Palm Studio with Silview as well. And it was a fantastic time. We, uh, we, you know, we drank lots of beer and uh, played lots of music. And it was really fun. Sounds recording productive. Our first album. So. Josh Palmer. Mm -hmm, Say something mm -hmm. about Jiminy. You work with a lot of bands here in Saskatoon. Yeah. What does Jiminy have? Jimmy has a fire. <laughs> a fire in their belly? Yes. In their belly that it kind of goes out into the audiences and it, uh, it really just engulfs them. And as their producer, I really wanted that fire to kind of light the speakers every time you pop their CD in the, in the stereo. And uh, I think we made it happen. I think we made a gold record. I agree. Yeah. Josh, I want to yeah. extend a huge thank you to you because tonight's episode would not have been possible without Josh Palmer. It's not often we plug stuff in, let alone hundreds of things. And again, I sat there and rocked all afternoon while Josh Palmer came in, brought van load after van load, plugged stuff in, and it sounds fantastic. Thank you so much for doing this for us, Josh Palmer. Final words about Jiminy before we get to our music? Jiminy, they're the finest, the sexiest. Listen to them. You'll love them. This is Josh Palmer out. Back to you. That was the greatest three, <laughs> whoa, whoa, greatest three degrees of Josh Palmer ever. I want to get to more music. Ladies and gentlemen, Jiminy, take it away.
in the Shaw TV studios tonight. You're watching Strip Down. It is busy here tonight, but here, this is going to be fun. Our own co-host, Adan Lemus. He's got a burning question for Jiminy. Adan, what do you got? Well, you know, guys, I was just wanting to know, and you said it earlier today that, uh, you know, you guys play music just for fun, right? But I want to know the story. I want to know the legend of Jiminy. How did you guys come together? And where you got this? Yeah, Chad actually wrote some uh, really good demos and uh, he put them up on the computer and said, hey guys, check out these uh, little ditties, his words, little ditties I wrote. And they were just clips of songs that he started writing and uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed them. So uh, a couple of us got together and started making Chad's vision a reality. And uh, yeah, it came together nicely. Like two years later, we're still writing songs together and having fun doing it. I think Chad has something to add. I did add things. I added uh, <laughs> members. These song, these little ditties that Ember speaks of weren't that great. Um, they were skeletons. And then uh, when I got together with Enver and Marky, Mark sprinkled his hip hopness all over it, and Enver made it groovy. And then uh, we started looking out for friends. And then uh, that's how Ben ended up in the group. Patrick and Scott. It's all just friends of ours. And. Everyone's got their own musical backgrounds and, and mixed together nicely. We also play with Andrew Dixon, who's not here tonight, so I'm having to fumble my way through the extra guitar parts. We're missing a lot of where's them. Where's Andrew? What could possibly keep someone from stripped down, from the stripped down experience? Uh, he had already ran the tub. He had a bunch of bath water going. <laughs> so, and candles lit and everything. We didn't want to take him away. It's hard, so, it's hard yeah. to fill yourself He out had a relaxing evening you. planned. Yep. Yeah. All right, two years in, career highlights. What do you got? Working with J Palm, legendary oh, yeah. J Palm. That's a life highlight, yeah. though. Yeah, definitely. Talk about a career. Highlight. I know that's gonna go down. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, uh, probably the best thing was the tour we went out on last summer. Thank you. You're welcome, yeah, good sir. We uh, <laughs> shot out through. Uh, we did Regina, then we played at home, and then we went all the way out to Victoria and many places in between, and uh, at least got a couple CDs out there and made some new friends and fans, so it was fun. We're going to do it again this summer, if we can. Take you guys along. The whole uh, yeah, yeah. Strip down on the road. Yes. I'd love to do it. Uh, it's been high energy tonight. We keep forgetting to talk about the songs. Do you remember what you started the show with, the very first song? Yes. Yes. First one was called Too Sick. That's uh, Mark's brainchild. Yeah, I want to hear how these songs come together. All right. All right, well, I don't know. Well, Mark brought it to us. I don't know. I had this uh, funky bass line idea in my head one time when I was uh, working at 
I ref basketball. Oh, yeah. And lots of times I don't really pay attention to what the games are going because the, the kids are really <laughs> bad at basketball, most of them. Some of them, some of them are really good. Some, most of them, you know, they're trying. And, and I uh, kind of just tune out and just like write funky grooves in my head because I ADD out from the whole game. And I had this idea, and Enver and I were just like waiting for a ride sitting on his, gr on his driveway, and he had his acoustic bass. I just kind of beatboxed uh, what I thought, and we kind of just started a song and thought about uh, situations and girls and put it into a song and made a song about, uh, about hospitals yes. and being too sick for them. So it worked out well. Though. Is that usually how the writing process goes? Uh, yeah. Here it's, and there, everyone jumps on board. Yeah, it's, it's Or are really you cool. like, here, play. No, that's the good oh. thing about Jiminy. It's yeah. we're all really uh, have different diverse backgrounds. And uh, like Chad has a cool idea or Enver or Pat, anybody has a hook and we kind of just throw it to the band. Everybody adds their own, um, this like own talent, own style. And then it comes to be what it is. All right, we've got two or three songs in. We've talked to Josh Palmer. Where do you go from there? What's next? Uh, we should have done Josh Palmer at the end. You can't follow him up. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, where, where do you want to go from here? More music? I would. All right. What's next? Uh, can we do a softy? Can we do a soft song? I guess so. Okay, this is one of the songs that I wrote when I was uh, away traveling and brought it to the guys, and it ended up not being such a ballad, but more of a funky, a funky bluesy number. So this one's called Skydive. Skydive, all right. <laughs>
this might not be safe So I'll let you call it, call it in the air Taking a baby, are we taking off? Are we, are we? Let's not waste the space that we were given. You hide inside the walls you built so no one else can fit in. Let's not waste it. Oh, let's not waste it. No, 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 no. Another run out, you're watching Skirt Down. Jiminy in the Shaw TV studios tonight. We gotta take another commercial break, but we got lots more. We got lots more from Curtis Anderson, lots more from Adan Lemus, lots more from Jiminy coming up after the break. Stick around, we got more Strip Down right after this. You know how many people get their water from underground? Water can come from the surface or underground. Groundwater is found in the layers of soil and rock beneath our feet in saturated areas called aquifers. This water source is collected in wells and supplies about half of North America's drinking water. The problem is the quality and safety of this underground water is directly affected by what we do on the land above it. What can you do to keep your drinking water safe? Groundwater starts on the surface, so whatever you put on your lawn that the plants don't use can seep into the groundwater. This includes excess chemicals and fertilizers, and even oil spills, so be sure to dispose of them properly. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? For more information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca.
He's big, he's bold, he's a polar bear. And as much as we wouldn't want to run into him face to face, we also wouldn't want to see anything threaten his existence. Hard to believe an animal this big needs our help. But even though the polar bears live far away in the remote Arctic, we are having a negative impact on their lives. Our pollutants travel the oceans and atmosphere and enter their food chain. Plus, climate change is causing the ice they live on to melt earlier each spring. This makes it more difficult for the bears to catch their prey. If you're wondering how you can help, simple things like riding your bike, walking, or taking the bus instead of driving will do a lot for our environment and the polar bears. But that's just a start. If you go to hww.ca, you can learn more about polar bears and find ideas on how to help protect Canada's wildlife. That's hww.ca. Passing gas can be deadly. Whoa, oh, something's funky. Passing gas releases a plume of toxic vapors. Oh, oh, honey, not in the car. Like ammonia and hydrogen cyanide. Oh. Oh. And lethal poisons that can linger even when windows are open. Kids shouldn't be exposed to secondhand smoke. Don't pass gas, take it outside. stripped down Jiminy in the Shaw TV studios tonight. I'm alongside a very special young man, ladies and gentlemen, Dan Lemus, who has been so wonderfully co-hosting alongside with me tonight. It's a tough episode. Usually there's a lot more uh, control when we're interviewing people, but it's a party tonight. There's people going everywhere. It's, it's tough. It's tough to get in, uh, you know, a word edgewise tonight. But Dan, you're doing a heck of a job. Dan Lemus is a man who's been here from the very beginning, one of the first volunteers that came. He really helps mold strip down to what it is each and every week. I always call you the backbone of Strip Down. Now I know we're all just uh, animals playing in Josh Palmer's forest when it comes to life, but here on Strip Down, you are the backbone of Strip Down and Dan. Okay, you know when you're watching Strip Down, you see those awesome uh, push in and pull out moves? Let's, let's get to one right now. Laura Churchman. That, yeah. Very impressive. That's what a Dan does pretty much every week, flawlessly. You wanna see how that's done? Jen, get a shot of Laura. See the same move in reverse. Ready? Whoa. Okay, now let's shoot it again, but show how it's actually done. Whoa, go for it, Laura. Oh, that's a tough contraption to use. Let me tell you, that scares me. However, Dan Lemus, Laura Churchman, they're masters. You guys actually know how to rock that thing better than anybody that works here. Dan, Curtis, on behalf of Strip Down, you're the man. Thank you very much. Let's get to more music. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Jiminy. I'm slipping off a schedule. She said a sad sound, someone She rats me off Now I'm lonely in this room I feel the way the world And then some oh, 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 Is pushing down on me yeah. I can hold my own I wasn't meant to hold This little is liability You can try to drain the right knees from me If you got to But I See the only Deep in 
While she's up in the sky I, I can pop the clouds For the here and now And shed the shadows from my mind I was a half a boy when she left me But now I'm just twice a man I play the game for fools Yeah, I make my own rules I've got some dirty plans You can try to drain the brightness from me If you've got to But I'm not gonna sit on the sideline Try to drain the brightness from me If you've got to But I'm not gonna sit on the side No, I know I will never be alone But this fleeting love, they won't let me To press and bought a bottomless bottle of Bombay and all day I was thinking this is the worst way that I could be drinking I'm drinking to the very bottom of the ocean Water keeps me warm when inside of and I'm frozen Holding on to something new And I'm probably gonna be holding on to you So you can go ahead and go to bed and get sick But when you wake up I'll be gone I'm gonna dream about the sea and you can dream about me Standing still, still standing on your front lawn so you're probably familiar with the common loon. It's no surprise that this water bird represents our country. Have you ever sat by a lake and listened to the loon's haunting calls? You probably wonder what all the noise is about. Its calls can mean anything from, I'm over here, to stay away. Humans enjoy Canadian lakes just as much as loons do. But if we're not careful, the wake from our boats can destroy their nests. And lead sinkers and jigs can poison and kill loons if they swallow them. So here's how you can help. Keep boats away from nesting areas and swimming birds, especially ones with chicks too young to dive or fly away. And if you're fishing, use non-lead sinkers and jigs so you won't harm the loons. And that's just a start. If you go to hww.ca, you can learn more about loons and find ideas on how to help protect Canada's wildlife. That's hww.ca. <laughs> Where stuff goes once it's flushed down the toilet. It travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant. There it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers. The problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup, cleaning supplies, and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up. 
They are dumped untreated into our waterways, which other people depend on for their drinking water. Some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways, while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? For more information on how you can be more water aware, visit waterunderfire.ca. Ladies and gentlemen, Jiminy.
this has been so much fun tonight, but we kind of have to wrap things up. We're out of time. Jiminy wow. in the Shaw TV studios. Did you guys have fun tonight? We had a killer time, yeah. Thanks for having us. All right, what's next in the uh, horizon for Jiminy? Uh, Shaw Cable next week. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. If you can time travel. Uh, <laughs> next shows. Uh, we're doing... Um, January 23rd, as I may or may not have mentioned earlier, at Louis. Uh, it's off the hook. Marky Mark's putting it on. He always throws a good time. And then uh, we're Couple playing at the Bargain there. Fish in February. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're playing with Library Voices, which is going to be awesome. And uh, Bitch Face and The Gaff. <laughs> And we were lovers. And we were lovers. Yes. And, and most importantly. And the CD, of course, available. We're all fine. CDs are sold. Yes. Uh, we finally snuck it into CD Plus, did yeah. we not? Yeah. Certainly. CD Plus locations around the city, as well as uh, at our live shows and on iTunes and CD Baby. Denver. What are people going to get if they come out and see a Jiminy show? Uh, Grilled cheese. Man. Grilled cheese. <laughs> grilled cheese hopefully, and shirtless hopefully men. Hopefully not grilled cheese. Uh, no, no shirtless men and uh, no, a good time, a dance party, definitely. All information available on uh, the website? Yeah, uh, www.myspace.com <laughs> slash Jiminy Tunes. There it is up there on the TV for everyone to see. Wrap it up. Uh, Dan, did you have fun tonight? I had a load of fun. Co-hosting with the dream band, Jimmy. Co-hosting with my best friend and uh, watching an awesome band play. And of course, we have to give one final shout out to the man, the legend, the myth, the icon, the main event. Some poor saps walking around with nothing because this guy's got it all. <laughs> JP <laughs> Josh Palmer. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Oh my, there it is. Another episode down. Thanks to everyone watching us across Saskatchewan on the various Shaw and Access communication systems. Thanks to co-host Dan Lemus, the cast and crew of Strip Down, our sponsors, Ultimo Yurimoto, Mother's Music, and Rolco Radio. Check out www.myspace.com slash strip down for pictures from all previous 32 episodes, Ooh. as well as info on next week's guest. For the last time tonight, thank you guys so much. It's thank Jiminy. You. And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the class. Class. Class.
Do you really want me to stay?